it's time to start our Material Ledger configuration review in the system. We will start our review by discussing about currency and valuation profiles. This profile determines which valuation views we can use for our materials and which currencies the valuation views will be using. Let's open the IMG menu and start navigating to the config screen where we can maintain these profiles. I select Controlling, then General Controlling, then Multiple Valuation Approaches, then Basic Settings, and finally, Maintain Currency and Valuation Profiles. If you don't feel like clicking, you can also use the transaction code 8KEM to open the screen. You can see that the two profiles have already been maintained. We will be using this ID01 profile that should already exist in your environment. Let's select the line and then click Details folder here. Here we can see the settings maintained before this profile. Each line here stands for one valuation view we can use for our materials. As you can see, the first line is completely grayed out, which means we can't make any changes to it. This first line is for the legal valuation, and it is mandatory that every currency and valuation profile have this view created for them. We can also see that company code currency has been maintained as the currency type for this line. The next line is for the group valuation. As you remember, we want to be able to examine the value of our materials also using our group currency, which is Euro. This can be achieved by maintaining a row here for group valuation and by selecting group currency as the currency type. You can also see that there is a row for profit center valuation. During this course, we will not be discussing about profit center valuation and transfer prices as we have a dedicated course just for this topic. New profiles can be created by clicking this New Entries button here. The next step is to assign a currency and valuation profile to our controlling area. I will be moving one step back and then selecting the next config screen. You can also use T code 8KEQ. Here you can see the profile that we just examined has been linked with our controlling area. As you can see, Euro is used as the group currency. The system does not allow us to change the currency to any other currency that has not been maintained as the group currency in local company code currencies configuration. Let's quickly open a new session and go to transaction code OB22. Let's double click our company code. As you can see, Euro has been maintained for the company code for the currency type 30. After we have finished maintaining the settings for the currency and valuation profile, we need to maintain a version for group valuation. As you know, different controlling versions can be used to maintain different planning and actual data under different assumptions. I move one step back and open Create Versions for Valuation Methods. You can also use T code OKEQ. This configuration screen is probably already quite familiar to you if you have worked with controlling module before. Let's first make sure we have the correct controlling area selected by clicking Extras and then selecting Set Controlling Area. As you can see, a version has been maintained for group valuation. Actual WIP and variance checkboxes have been ticked for this version. Plan checkbox has not been ticked as no plan data will be maintained for this version. Under Controlling Area Settings, you can see that this Group Valuation version has been linked with Group Valuation View. By pressing this Valuation button here, you can confirm that valuation profile and versions are consistent. Let's also make sure that the current fiscal year has been maintained for the versions we will be needing. I select the row and press Setting for each fiscal year. We can see that the current fiscal is available. If you are not seeing the current fiscal in the list, press New Entries button here and add the fiscal to the list. Also maintain 01 as the cost component structure for the version.
we will be using the same structure for all our versions. Make the same fiscal year check for the versions 0, V2, and V3. There is one more check we need to do related to the currencies. Let's go to transaction OKYW to make sure that cost component split has been activated in controlling area currency, which in our case is Euro. Here you need to make sure that these rows are available for the company code we are using. If these costing type and valuation variant combinations have not been maintained in your environment, use the new entries button here to add the lines. We have now finished our review of valuation views and currencies related configuration. If you want, you are free to create your own configuration instead of using existing settings already available in IDES. But if you want to create everything by your own, you should create a completely new controlling area and organization structure instead of using existing controlling areas in your system. It might be wise to first use existing IDES settings for your first scenario, and after you understand how everything is connected, you can build your own settings from scratch. In the next lesson, we will review all the key material ledger specific configurations.